Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna be painting bear. bear. Is that a mama bear and a baby bear? Yeah. Yeah, where's the baby bear? Baby. Yeah, and where's the mama bear? Okay, so to start, I'm gonna go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper with me, my Winsor & Newton professional watercolors, my Princeton snap brush in a size six round. I also have my pencil and eraser, water and paper towel, and we're ready to go. Okay, so we are gonna be painting a mama bear and a baby bear uh, with watercolor. It's not gonna be too realistic. We're just gonna try and have fun with it. But to start, we are going to sketch out some shapes. So the first shape I want you to sketch out is kind of like a lima bean, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so it's like a little little curve at the top here and then a bigger curve towards the bottom like this. And you can adjust it a couple times to see what shape or what angle works best like that. And then you are going to draw a circle like so. And you're going to connect the head, which is the head, the circle, to this lima bean shape like that. And then you're going to kind of do like a trapezoid shape. So it's a bit longer on the side. You're going to come down on an angle and back in. So it's a bit longer at the tip. And then it comes back in like that. Okay. And then you're going to do two little ears, one here, and then maybe one behind bit smaller like that. And then we're gonna draw some shapes for the legs. So we're gonna come right down from where the neck ends right here. And you're gonna do kind of another trapezoid shape. One, and then a little shape like that. Two, and then another one for the paw like that. Okay, and then you're gonna do another one, but bigger because the back legs are bigger. I'm gonna come down like this. And you know what, we're just gonna do another little shape. We're not gonna do the three part like that. Okay, and then we're gonna do the back leg here. I'm gonna come back and angle it in. And we'll just do another little paw right there. We can just do the back of that back leg. And there is our outline of our bear shape, okay? So now we're gonna do one for the bear cub. Okay, so we're gonna do kind of the same kind of bean shape but this bear cub's gonna be sitting down. So we're gonna have the big part of the bean at the base here, like that. Okay, we're gonna have the head, cause they're gonna to be touching noses. Gonna to have a circle for the head, maybe a bit lower. Like that. Have that little trapezoid for the snout like that. And then it's actually going to come right down from underneath the neck here. And we're just going to do those leg shapes. It's going to come in like that and out a little paw there. And then you can have another one on the side behind it. Okay. You're going to connect that neck to that bottom bean shape. And you can even do a little half circle for this back leg and then bigger paws like that and then have the ears kind of sticking back like that one and then just a little bit maybe not let's see are we going to see this ear no it's going to be just the side like so okay and there we go we have our outline of our bears now if you'd like you can take a pen and outline it for this outline, I'm gonna use my Tombow mono drawing pen, just in a size 03. And I'm gonna outline all these shapes. So not the inner parts, but just the outline of the bear. So I'm gonna come up over the back here because it has this little hump. Connect it there. Do the little ear. Come down from the head and go right into that snout. Come down, right into the neck, down to the legs. Like 
that. And then this leg is behind, so I'm gonna go right into the belly and cut right around that so this leg will be behind. Like so, okay? You can do that little other ear behind there. Then I'm gonna come with this leg right here. It's gonna be in front. Do a little stub for the tail back there. Come down like that and draw the back leg behind there. And then just follow the back. Okay, and there is the outline of our bear. Now let's do the bear cub. So I'm gonna start at the snout here and I'm gonna come up, go into that little ear, go right along the back. Come down, outline that front leg and that back leg. A little curve for the back leg here and a little stub for that little tail. Okay, so now we have outlines of our bears and we're not gonna do too much um, detail on the face. So for now, just erase all your pencil marks. Okay, so now that we got our outline, we are going to paint inside with watercolor and we're gonna have more fun with this. It's not gonna be a realistic bear. We're gonna, you know, just drop in some color and enjoy what watercolor can do. So I just wet up a bunch of my browns that I have. I have some brown matter, I think it's called. I have my burnt umber. Forget what this one's called. That one's sepia. You can, you know, wet up some black. If you don't have a brown, you can always mix red and green to get a decent brown. And that should do it. Okay, so first I am going to just take a light wash of my brown. Actually, I think I'm gonna grab a bigger brush. So I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna use my size 12, okay? And I'm just going to go around my whole bear with a light wash of brown. I might actually just start with everything that's in the foreground of the bear. So I'm gonna leave the back legs white for now and we'll go back in later with darker color. I don't know why I have green on my brush. I guess there was some green left over in my water jar. Okay, just making that whole front of the bear wet. Like so. Okay, and then you're just gonna start grabbing some browns. I'm gonna grab a bit of black. Sebi, I'm just mixing a bunch of browns and I'm just gonna start dropping in this color and letting the watercolor kind of do its thing. Let it bleed, let it have some fun blooms. I might leave the snout a bit lighter There's a puddle forming over here, so I'm just gonna try and mop some of that up so the color can bleed a bit better. If you have too much water on your brush, um, sometimes that happens, or you have too much water on your page, just mop it up a bit, because then the color won't bleed as well. I'm just gonna get some darker color, throw it in there too. Just kind of mixing all the browns together and letting them bleed and do their do their thing. I get a bit of darker bits and just go over some of those lines of where the legs are. Just to create a bit of extra shadow, maybe a bit of shadow underneath the neck. that. I'm going to wash off my brush and just move some of that color around. Like so. 
Okay, so I'll let that dry and we can work on the bare cub. So same thing, light wash over the whole bear. Um, maybe leaving that back leg behind. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. So I'm going to grab some of that reddish brown. Drop some of that in there. moving the color around. Might actually lift up a bit of that in the ear. Just a little bit. You can always make it darker after too. I'm gonna take some darker brown, go into where that belly would be, around the leg maybe a bit, around the base of the bear. Just darken up under the neck a bit, behind the ear. But it's bleeding, so don't let it, like, don't worry too much about making it specific or whatever. Just have fun with it. Let the watercolor do its thing. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to let that dry before we do the back legs. Um, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so now that the first layer is dry and you can really see those beautiful like blooms from where we dropped in some darker color. So now we're just going to take a darker brown and we're just going to do the legs in the background. So I'm just going to go right in and make these ones a bit darker. There would be more of a shadow because they're on the other side of the bear. And doing this while the bear is dry really just separates those back legs from the front ones. And what you can also do is just outline a bit of those front legs and the back legs, just with a small line like that, okay? And you can even do a bit of the ear like so. All right, there you go. And if you want to drop in a bit more darker color, you can do that. Okay, let's do this little bear. And I'm just gonna outline some of those legs and stuff. And I might even just go back in here a bit darker like that. Okay, and now we're gonna do the face and we're gonna keep the face super simple. This is just an illustration. It's not a real life or realism kind of painting. So I'm just gonna do the black nose, a little dot at the edge of the black nose, like that. And I'm just gonna do, should we have eyes open or eyes closed? What do you think? Let's do, eyes open. So we're just going to do dots for the eyes and a little mouth like that. Okay. Keeping it super simple, but super cute. Okay. And if you want to do a bit more um, detail on the ears, just going around the ears a bit, you can. Do that ear behind, and there you go. There are your bears. They're super simple, but super cute. So now also what I'm gonna just do is I'm gonna add a little bit of grass and some flowers. Maybe it's springtime, and these bears just woke up from hibernation. So I'm gonna grab some sap green. Actually, I'll grab some pink. Let's do some purple. Some little purple wildflowers. Okay, we're gonna do little 
little wildflowers popping up. Just little purple dots, nothing too crazy. Maybe we'll do some yellow ones too. I'm gonna grab a bit of yellow, some cadmium yellow, and you can do some daisies, just really, really tight, not daisies, like um, buttercups, just doing barely even real flower shapes. <laughs> And we'll do the stems after. I just want it to dry just a little bit. Um, we can do, let's do a bit more like bluish, purpley wildflowers. Okay. So wait for those to dry or not. We can just do some grass, especially where the bear's standing. Maybe do a bit of grass around the paws where the baby's sitting. Might even just grab a bit of green and just kind of go underneath those paws. Blend it out a bit. I can even go back in with some darker green. Just tap where those wet spots where I just added some water to. I'm gonna bring a little bit of brown in there into the green. Oops. Just taking the tip of my brush and doing some light grass. You can do the stems from those flowers if they're starting to dry. It's just really, really light stems. And grass. Just connecting them all. And just again, just going, wetting it up a bit. And there you go, there is your mama and baby bear spring illustration. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day guys. Bye. Bye.